continuing the discussion of what we have learned about the possibility or the potential for reducing prejudice. I'm going to talk about academic or school settings now because in some schools you will have issues with certain groups of students not getting along and having prejudice uh, and just the hateful behavior and language towards each other. And so some individuals, well-meaning in, well individuals over time, have made attempts to try to reduce prejudice uh, in the classroom. And as mentioned previously, if you just just take a classroom and like force people to sit next to each other, if members from opposing groups, you force them to sit next to each other, force them to be in the same classroom, force them to be in the same lab group, you know, any one of those things, that's going to backfire. If you just do that, that's not going to be enough. Uh, building on what we talked about with the robber's cave study, you do have to have some kind of a superordinate goal, something where you're working together and everybody benefits from the basically the single project that you're working on. And so we have some research on something called jigsaw classrooms, jigsaw, putting the jigsaw puzzle, putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And so what they do is they take students and they put them into small expert groups. So some group of students is assigned to become an expert on a particular topic, some topic that the entire class needs to know about. So some group, they are assigned to become the expert. And these group, they learn about some specific aspect of the lesson. So you have a bunch of different groups in the same classroom. Each group is working on a different topic, but everybody in the class needs to learn all the topics for the eventual test or project or whatever they're going to use for the assessment. And so you become an expert and then they break you up. They break you up into a jigsaw, all right? The groups are broken up and new jigsaw groups are formed. Each jigsaw group has a representative from one of the expert groups, all right? So the separate groups have to come together and, or, or they have to have representatives. You get to know a member of some, some other group, all right? And so uh, they have a representative from each of the expert groups and then they teach each other. The student, the student from the expert group teaches the new group about what they learned and then the other expert from the other group teaches the group what they've learned and the idea is they work together so that the whole group, the whole class can learn the material and master the assessment. Uh, so they rely on each other's knowledge and we have evidence from research that in these situations, uh, prejudice against the different groups in the classroom, it goes down. It does reduce in these situations uh, and we think or we hope it's because they are working on this uh, superordinate goal.